Al Qaeda's websites around the world are carrying an audio message apparently from Osama bin Laden praising the Arab Spring Revolt in the Middle East and North Africa. CBS News Homeland Security correspondent Bob Orr has the very latest on this final message. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Well, it is, it is, as you say, a voice from the grave. Two and a half weeks after he was killed by Navy SEALs, Osama bin Laden once again is preaching to his radical followers on an audio tape apparently recorded shortly before his death. In a 12 and a half minute tape titled Addressing Muslims, a voice believed to be that of Osama bin Laden praises the Arab Revolution and what he calls the winds of change blowing over the Muslim world. The deceased al-Qaeda chief offers encouragement to fellow jihadists and celebrates the recent overthrows of the governments in Egypt and Tunisia. Seeing the Arab Spring as a victory for Islamic law rather than a democratic uprising, he commands followers to, quote, free yourselves from servitude to the desires of the rulers, man-made law and Western dominance. It does not appear that bin Laden intended the remarks to be his last. The message was posted on jihadist websites favored by al-Qaeda, the terror group claims it was recorded just a week before bin Laden was killed. While there's no way to verify that, his reference to current events suggests the tape is relatively new. Now intelligence analysts will study the recording to see if it contains any coded messages or instructions to his followers. Meanwhile, the CIA is still working through a mountain of evidence seized from bin Laden's compound. Sources say they're still looking for evidence of terror plots and running down potential leads on the locations of other top terror operatives. Two at the top of the U.S. hit list, longtime bin Laden deputy Ayman al-Zawahiri and operations planner Saif al-Adil. Numerous reports say al-Adil has taken interim control of the group, but sources say al-Qaeda has not yet settled on a new leader. At the same time, U.S. officials continue to look for any proof that Pakistani authorities, military or intelligence officers, knew of bin Laden's hideout. I've seen no evidence at all uh, that uh, the senior leadership knew in fact, I've seen some evidence to the contrary, but, and we have no evidence yet with respect to anybody else. My supposition is somebody knew. Now, while bin Laden's taped message is presented as some kind of victory message, it sounds frankly more like a last gasp, with bin Laden trying to capitalize on the Arab revolution that's been fueled by public protests and not al-Qaeda's radical ideology. Chris? CBS's Bob Orr in Washington for us this morning. Bob, thank you.